You know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to go through this stage like just normally for for a while. And just see what happens. Hey, Quagsire. Oh. Oh. Ah. That's cute. <laughs> Instead of the two cannon, that's when uh, Quagsire shows up. Oh, so now one of them is asleep over there. There's always, like, one Tropius asleep at that side. Yeah, honestly, though, there's nothing much around here. Hon yeah, honestly, just... just nothing. I think they did thought about, like, the Pokémon that rarely show up for, like, a front face picture from, like, older levels. And that's why they put them here. Ugh, I'm gonna have to take this off now. I know I'm supposed to, like, have it on for quite some time just to get used to it, but it's actually kind of hurting a bit. Now I'm gonna look to my right this time. I'm gonna look to my right. It, it's gonna jump at me or something. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It. <laughs> Okay. Well then. I don't know how the fuck I did it, and I still don't even have that path unlocked, but... I actually made it to level 2 on River Nighttime, so... I'll be able to see more of what's going on. So... Maybe this will help unlock that path. Because I've been at this for quite a long time now. So now there is a fur alligator in front of me. Which I probably should have, uh... Whoop. Yeah, which I probably should have, uh... hit an apple with. What, did it, <laughs> did it just shake its booty at me? What gives? Oh, I can probably do this, though. Or maybe it's going to show up. Oh, there was some bubbles over there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Also got a good one there. Tropius drinking in the fountain or in the water. Okay, now, now I'm definitely getting to see more opportunities here. I oh god, <laughs> I missed that belly flop again. So over there, you saw like a bunch of bubbles there. If you throw Illumina orbs at it, then uh, you would see two for alligators roaring at each other. Also, a random Ursaring showed up. I think it was actually clinging onto the tree. Yeah, I think it was clinging on this time. So now what's even going to happen? I think I saw a bunch of swamp birds sleeping up there. So now it's Apom. And a <laughs> more dead Magikarps. Is that... Is that really a freaking thing that happens around here? Oh. What was that? I think I saw Tropius. Now I'm starting to see two Psyducks at the same time. Yep. Oh. 
Yeah, I thought that might work. There we go. Okay, so... I guess I was supposed to be at level 2 and then hit the Feraligator off that cliff. Oh, you found a new route. Fucking finally. Are the rocks in that cave glowing? God, I'm so stubborn. I just know there's gotta be like more Pokemon around this area. I just know it. Just by looking at that cave, I was so curious. And there is too. There's Cleffa. Two Cleffas, actually. <laughs> Baby Cleffas. Some more drill burr. Uh, yeah, just more swamp right here. Oh, I like how that's glowing in the cave here. Yeah, no, it's just a bunch of drill burr and cleffas. That's <laughs> that's all there fucking was around here. That's all it freaking was in there. It was just a bunch of cleffas. So after all, after like all that talk, or after all that time trying to figure out how to get to that place, it was just a bunch of cleffa. Oh, brother. There was even like some ursaring opportunities in this one. Um, yeah, looking at some Magikarp. If you hit a Crystal Bloom and then scan on the Magikarp, the Magikarp will jump. And hit Ursaring in the face. <laughs> yeah, that definitely seems to be a thing. Oh, okay. Gyarados also shows up in this level too. Okay. I never actually thought of that. Um, we'll do this one. And then Drill Burr. That was not supposed to be Swamp Earth for crying out loud. To awaken Gyarados, there are two means. First, light up the two Crystal Blooms on the way down. Oh dear. Those ones? Then wait until Magikarp is underneath Ursaring and use Scan. Then light up the Crystal Bloom behind the waterfall and Gyarados will briefly appear. For the other method, you need to wake up, then throw two Illumina Orbs on the two Magikarp beyond the first Rapids and hit for Alligator with a Fluff Fruit to knock you off course. Okay. Yeah, no, that honestly seems like a lot of work. I am... I am definitely not going to do that then, if that's going to be a bit of a hassle. But, I actually did manage to finally unlock that cave area with the Cleffa in it, but... Would there actually be... Other Pokemon inside that cave from the daytime stage? No. It was only just Cleffa. But in the daytime in level 3, they can be found in the cave path with four of them. And they'll use Metronome for a three-star photo. That's pretty cool, actually. But no, that that's pretty much it. I'm, I think I'm probably done with this level. <laughs> After, like, what, two hours trying to figure that out? Oy. So stubborn I am. And also my shoulders hurt from that corrector. Excellent. That posture thing. So now he's saying I've seen every single Pokemon in the Belisuvia region, or the Belisuvia Island. And there was also the uh, the monsoon pattern, Vivalon, inside that cave too. 
I'm pretty sure it shows up in that little crack on the top of that cave. So now... I might just have to go on break because... The last level we have to do... Is here. The Barren Wastelands. For this time... I'm just going to go through the level normally until I get to level 2. That's when there's going to be an alternate path for this spot. Okay. The last level of the DLC, the Barren Badlands, or whatever it was called. Barren Wastelands. Oh, shit! I almost forgot about that Pokemon, Taepig. I love Taepig. I, I don't care what anybody says. I love Taepig. Oh. Oh, it it actually crisped up the oh. Um, hello. Yeah, there was Diglett too, and uh, Taepig. It actually crisped up the apple for it. Hello, Crustle. I think I actually got its front picture there. Whoa. What if I throw something in the geyser? Maybe not. Oh. An unstable rock. It looks like it might fall if it hit with enough force. Oh. I think that did it. <laughs> Just think, a fucking fluff fruit. Yeah, a friggin... Fluff fruit just blocked up the geyser. Oh! See a bunch of mini ores over there. A sweet scent seems to be coming from the sand here. Well, now what? Bubbling water? Okay. Oh, wait, it was looking at the crustle over there. Silicobra. Um. If it can actually come out, I, I don't think it's going to come out. Diggle. Diggle, it's so tiny, though. Ooh, coughing. Haven't seen you since the original, and swallow it. Never thought I'd see a Pokemon that is Swallow it be in a spin off game. Also, yeah, the Toxic Fumes. I think, uh. I think we know what the problem is here. So, all these geysers. Yeah, it looks like it's not interested in the apple. Um. This whole poison area here is probably because of that swallet. Um, over here? This whole spell's noxious poisonous gas. Well, maybe if I would have hit it. Nah. Ooh, Shanks. Oh, wait, I've actually... <laughs> I've actually seen it before. Look how... Oh, Jesus, my fucking... Fucking clipping on that. I was gonna say, uh... Taepig looks pretty big compared to Torchic. I was gonna say, can I hit the Diglett? Thank you. Jesus. Oh, there's another one. Oh, <laughs> hey, Onyx. 
Oh, there's a better one. That's a good picture of Diggle, uh, Diglett. I was gonna say, uh, this kind of reminds me of a termite hill. Except instead of termites, it's fucking onyx. That is actually pretty cool. This, yeah, this is actually... Oh. <laughs> Why, game? That was perfect. It's It had an onyx just fly from hole to hole in between cliffs. That was... That was a perfect opportunity there. You got you got to be kidding me. Still. At least I got at least I got Taypig doing its thing. I think I'll do this one. Uh Diglett. Yeah, that's a perfect one. Onyx, yep. Crustle. Torchic, Mandibuzz. Minior, coughing, and swallet. Or is is it called swallot or swallet? Like swa right. Like the first three letters is like swallow. I guess it would be called swallow or swallet. I guess. I wonder if, like, if it's gonna show its, like, gaping mouth. I wonder if I can, like, throw an apple in it. <laughs> like, it wants a snack. Well, hey, that's what happened with Snorlax last time uh, at the secret path. Maybe I can do it to him, too. I mean, it literally is a stomach Pokemon. Yeah, I'd, I definitely would have gotten a better picture of coughing there. But again, I should have been doing this in the river that... I could have just gone through the level normally. That way I would have easily went to level 2 at this rate. There, now I just need the level 3 photo to be platinum, which I will never do. <laughs> because I I don't think I would ever do achievements on this game. All right. If it's a PlayStation game, then I'll do it. In fact, I think right now... I've actually platinumed Dark Souls Remastered, surprisingly, and now I'm doing Sonic Forces. I snapped over 7,000 photos, Christ. So now he's just gonna tell me I can do the nighttime stage, so we'll just skip this part. It looks like there's something you can do with Minior. If you hit the crystal bloom, another one will come crashing down for a four star. Another mini ore can be found embedded near the craters. Okay. Yep, there is definitely nothing to be talked about there. They just only said you can do it at nighttime now. So we're not going to do that right now. We're actually going to do level two of the daytime one. And we'll see what happens differently. <gasps> it's Rock Ruff. Oh, wait, where is he? Oh, there you are. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Oh. Huh. It's actually two Crustle fighting with each other. Oh. <laughs> Looks like he won. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he did one. Okay. Uh. Oh, Kangaskhan. Yeah, Kangaskhan is in this level too. Oh, that's perfect. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. It was actually... Whoa. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I honestly don't think... Uh... Yeah, I honestly don't think I was supposed to do that. I think that just makes them scared. <laughs> 